So I've got to know Erasmus program, I've got to know that they have also master's degree, which the very unique point that inspired me to apply is underground program, you've got to go to so many different countries, expose um, and live with so many different um, friends internationally, and then you've got to have coming back, you've got to have one international master degree and also each master degree from each university that you attended to. Hey, hello, uh, my name is Su Phuong and I'm the alumni uh, from the uh, Erasmus uh, Master's Program. It's called EMJMD. So uh, I went to uh, my master's called Global Markets Local Creativities in 2017 to 2019. It's a two-year master's degree uh, sponsored, funded by the European Union under the EMJMD program where I got to uh, go to, went to three uh, universities in three countries at the same time. So I went to the UK, uh, Barcelona and Spain under the majors called Global Markets Local Creativities. Uh, so as you are one of the alumni, so could you please share some practical tips for students who intend to apply for this master bond? Okay, so um, I think uh, one uh, very important thing is under Erasmus, you have so many different programs. We have like hundreds of programs in the catalog. So you can go to Google and search EMJMD uh, catalog and then there will be a page uh, showing uh, the different programs. So um, you have to um, first select uh, the program that you're interested in. But uh, one tip is you can apply to three different programs at once. And secondly, in order to apply, there are different requirements. But then um, the uh, general one and it's also important one are uh, your English proficiency test which can be IELTS or TOEFL um, and usually it's um, um, the minimum is six um, for uh, IELTS and uh, you have to have your recommendation letters from um, either your universities or your workplace and it can be asked uh, to submit uh, at least two. Uh, the third one is that uh, you also have to write your personal statement to tell the committee who you are, why you want to apply for this uh, program or scholarship and what is your future plan um, after you gain all of this knowledge and skills from the program. Uh, last but not least, I think uh, is uh, uh, really your preparations to go and live and study abroad um, independently from your own country, which I think this is also need a lot of uh, self-personal preparations uh, to live with a lot of many other foreigners, uh, friends that come from different countries uh, from the world. So why this program and why EU? I've, I've, I've got my uh, master's degree um, before, but um, I also got one opportunity to go to a change in Europe before under different program, but that it, I thought it was too, uh, too, too short. And during my time that I changed in uh, Europe in French, I got to meet different friends that is um, a change uh, as well in Europe but under Erasmus. So I've got to know Erasmus program, I've got to know that they have also master's degree, which the very unique point that inspired me to apply is underground program, you've got to go to so many different countries, expose um, and live with so many different um, friends internationally, and then you've got to have coming back, you've got to have one international master degree and also each master degree from each university that you attended to. So two years, you earn like three master degree uh, or four, so why not, right? Yes. yes. Hi, I'm Su Chen La, an environmental content creator now. I was studying in Hungary under the scholarship, uh, Stipendian Homoyericum Scholarship. Um, and I was majored in uh, business administration. I graduated from the University of Beige. It's uh, in a Beige city, a very beautiful mountain, quiet, a very peaceful country, uh, city. Could you please share the overall tips for uh, students to apply a bachelor or master degree abroad? Okay, so if you want to get a scholarship, first thing you need to do is good preparation. Okay, do a lot of research and be good in English, be an opportunist, and 
remember that everything is up for discussion and up for negotiation. Maybe yeah, you can you can uh, talk to people and when you apply for something, ask a lot of questions. It, it was fun studying in Europe and yes, the funnest. Uh, <laughs> the good time uh, along the time when we uh, went traveling to many countries in Europe and but academically it was also a very good uh, time as well we got to uh, hand-on experience in, in school practical learning and uh, do internship in uh, in Hungary and yeah travel a lot and have fun cold country <laughs>